So you're using your Samsung Galaxy every single day, but what if I told you that some of its best features are completely hidden? So most people only scratch the surface, texting, scrolling, and watching videos. But Samsung Galaxy phones are packed with powerful tools that can completely change how you use your device. And before we jump in, thank you for 400 likes on the last video. The support has been incredible. On this one, let's aim for 350 likes. So smash that like button right now and share this video with your friends and family, especially if they're using Samsung. So if you're enjoying discovering hidden features, secret settings, and pro level tips, make sure to subscribe because this channel is all about helping you get the most out of your Galaxy. All right, let's dive straight into seven Samsung features that feel like an upgrade you never paid for. So feature number one is where you can choose media output and casting or mirroring. So you're listening to music on your earbuds, then you walk into your house and want the sound to play through your Bluetooth speaker or TV. Normally, you have to disconnect one device reconnect another, or dig through settings. So Samsung's media output feature lets you instantly choose where your audio and media play. So from the quick panel menu, you can switch between Bluetooth devices, speakers, smart TVs, or even mirror your screen, all from one place. So here's an example, I've connected my Galaxy Buds, but I can go ahead and bring down my quick panel menu. Now from here, I can go ahead and choose play last song. So from here, I can go ahead and choose to play any songs that was in my apps to my Galaxy Buds. But let's say I want to go ahead and change this to something else. So I can go ahead and tap on Media Output. And here I can go ahead and change this to my phone speaker, my Galaxy Buds, or if you have other Bluetooth devices that you're connected to, say for example, a boombox, maybe a car, or maybe a TV, you can go ahead and tap on those and you can go ahead and output your music to that device. So here I can go ahead and switch this from Galaxy Buds to my phone speakers. Go ahead and switch this back to my Galaxy Buds. So you can instantly switch audio without reconnecting devices. So this is perfect for home, car or party use. And it turns your phone into a central media controller. So this saves time and removes frustration. So this makes media playback seamless and effortless. Now, feature number two is where you can use nearby device to connect Bluetooth easily. So you're in a friend's house or a car and want to connect to a Bluetooth speaker quickly, but scrolling through the Bluetooth settings, in settings takes a long time. As you can see, there's quite a lot of buttons which you need to press. So Samsung's nearby device feature automatically detects compatible devices around you. So you can simply connect by dragging and dropping instead of navigating to multiple menus. So let me show you where you can find this. So here, go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu. And from here, go ahead and find nearby devices. Tap on this. Go ahead and tap on turn on. So now as you can see, my Bluetooth headphones is already connected with my phone. However, if I wanna go ahead and disconnect this, I can go ahead and drag this, go ahead and bring it to the bottom here. So now that's disconnected. If I wanna go ahead and connect it, I can go ahead and just close this, open it, and that will basically connect back to my Samsung Galaxy device. So as it reads, Galaxy devices connected to your Samsung account will appear here if they have a nearby and have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth turned on. So this way you can go ahead and disconnect them and reconnect them. So you have faster Bluetooth connections, no need to open settings. This is ideal for switching between multiple devices and it makes Bluetooth feel instant and intuitive. So this feature is all about speed and convenience. Now, feature number three is where you can do a song search by Google using widget. So you hear a song playing in a cafe, store, or background of a video, but you don't know the name or the lyrics. You can go ahead and use Google song search widget. Your Samsung Galaxy can listen to the music and identify the song instantly, even if you're just humming. So let me show you how this works. So here, go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu. From here, go ahead and expand this. And here you need to go ahead and find song search. So this is what the icon looks like. Now, if you don't see it, you can go ahead and tap on the pencil icon, tap on edit, and then from here, find song search. So now once you've added that, go ahead and tap on that. And this will basically listen to a song or a humming and will try to predict what that song is. Okay, as you can see, I've just tried humming something and it's basically predicted this song. So no third party apps required. It works quickly and accurately. It helps you discover new music instantly. This saves time and effort. And this is perfect for music lovers who never want to miss a song again. Now feature number four is where you can control the flashlight brightness. 
So you turn on your flashlight from your quick panel menu at night and it's way too bright. So it's basically blinding your eyes or draining your battery. The Samsung Galaxy lets you adjust the flashlight brightness level, allowing you to increase or decrease intensity depending on your needs. So if you wanna go ahead and adjust this brightness level here, go ahead and long press on it. This will take you to this menu here. Now you wanna go ahead and adjust the brightness. So taking it to the left will decrease the brightness, taking it to the right will increase the brightness. Do note that if you increase the brightness, the camera light may cause low temperature burns when in prolonged contact with the skin. So be careful of that. So now once you have selected a brightness, press done. And now that brightness has been set. So this basically prevents eye strain at night. It saves battery life, gives better control in emergencies, and it makes flashlight more practical. So it's a small feature that improves your daily usability. Now feature number five is where you can increase or decrease quick panel grid size. So you pull down the quick panel menu and you feel like the toggles are either too big, wasting space, or just too small, making them hard to tap accurately. So using the quick star module inside Samsung Goodlock, you can increase or decrease the quick panel grid size, allowing more or fewer quick toggles per row. So this gives you full control over how dense or spacious your quick panel layout looks. So let me show you how you can change this. So for this, go ahead and open up the Goodlock app. In the Good Lock app, scroll down and find Quick Star. Tap on them. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find Change Quick Settings Button Grid. Make sure this is turned on. Now you wanna go ahead and select if you want wide or narrow. So this is what your normal view looks like. So four on each row. If I go ahead and make it wide and have a look, this will have three on each row. If I go ahead and make it narrow, this will have six per each row. So you can go ahead and select what you like. If you like maybe four, you can go ahead and have that. If you like five, maybe you can go ahead and set that as well. So you can fit more toggles on one screen. You can reduce the scrolling in quick panel. It improves one-handed usability and you can customize your phone exactly to your preference. Now feature number six is where you can have a built-in leveler tool on your Samsung Galaxy device. So you're hanging a picture frame, setting up a shelf, maybe adjusting a tripod, or even placing your phone flat on a table for photography. So you want everything perfectly straight, but you don't have a physical level tool nearby. So instead of downloading an app or guessing by eye, your Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra already has a built-in leveler that gives you instant access to it. So the S25 Ultra includes a hidden leveler tool that uses the phone's advanced sensors to measure surface balance and alignment. So this tool can be accessed directly from the edge panel, giving you real-time feedback on whether a surface is level or tilted. So as you move the phone, the level indicator responds instantly, showing precise horizontal vertical alignment. So this allows your phone to function like a digital spirit level. So this is similar to professional measuring tools, but built directly into your device. So no third-party apps or no ads or no extra setup is required. So let me show you how you can turn this feature on. So first, go ahead and open up settings. Scroll down, find display. Now go ahead and scroll down and find edge panel. Make sure this is turned on, tap on this. Now go ahead and tap on panels. And here you wanna go ahead and swipe all the way to the left and find this tool panel. Make sure this is turned on for you. Now you wanna go ahead and press home. Go ahead and bring your edge panel out. Now you wanna go ahead and swipe and you will see your compass. Now next you wanna go ahead and tap on the three dots and here you've got different tools. So you've got a compass, tally counter, torch, surface level, or ruler. So we need a surface level, so we'll tap on this. And now this will basically bring the surface level. So as you can see, as I'm moving the phone around, that white dot is moving around as well. So for this to come exactly in the center, you need to go ahead and make this exactly flat. If you're using the phone in an upright position, so you want to make sure your X is always at zero degrees. So that means this is leveled. So this helps you align frames, shelves, and furnitures accurately. This is perfect for photography and videography setups. It eliminates the need to download separate level apps. It uses Samsung's high precision sensors for accurate reading. And this is quick access through the edge panel for instant use. So this is one of those features that turns your Samsung Galaxy Ultra into a practical everyday tool not just a smartphone, especially useful at home, work, and on the go. Now, feature number seven is your precision cursor control on your Samsung Galaxy device. So you're editing a text or fixing a typo, but tapping the screen never places a cursor exactly where you want it. 
So Samsung offers a precision cursor control, including a hidden trick where you press and hold the spacebar to move the cursor freely. So let me show you how to do this. So now as you can see, this is all one word, but then there are many words jumbled in one. So we wanna go ahead and create some space. So using our finger and the keyboard, we'll go ahead and long press on this space bar. And now we'll go ahead and have this precision cursor control. So now if you go ahead and move your finger to the left, you can go ahead and accurately point the cursor where you want it. Leave it, correct your mistakes, then go ahead and use it again, again. Bring it to exactly where you want it, press space. Again, I'll use that way and space. So as you can see, I can basically move this cursor anywhere I like. So if I go ahead and bring it to the beginning of this paragraph, or I can go ahead and move it all the way to the bottom of this paragraph. So this is faster and more accurate typing. So this is perfect text editing. It reduces the frustration and it improves productivity. So once you learn this, you'll use it every day. If any one of these Samsung features helped you today, please like this video, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe for more Samsung tips and hidden features. The more you like and share, the more YouTube pushes this video, helping more people discover these powerful tools. Thanks again for 400 likes on the last video. Let's hit 350 likes on this one. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your Samsung Galaxy device, and I'll see you in the next video.